So adventurers, you want to learn how to play Dungeons and Dragons. I'm here to show you how. I'm going to show you everything from rolling your dice, setting your ability scores, purchasing your armor and equipment, and everything in between. <music> Greetings to everyone in the YouTube multiverse. Rod here, and welcome to the Thaco Factor. In this series, we'll be using the first edition, Player's Handbook and Dungeon Master's Guide. Both books are unique and have valuable information for both players and Dungeon Masters alike. We'll be referencing several pages throughout the series. If you have a set of these books, great, you can follow along. Printed in the late 1970s and no longer in print, and I couldn't find them at my local retailers or bookstores. I had to search online. I came across Chris Korchak Booksellers. If you're interested in acquiring a copy of these books for yourself or any other RPG or novel, please check out one of his websites that I've listed below. First we'll be looking at page 11 of the DMG. Here we're given four different methods on how to roll a new player character. We will only be covering the first two because these are the most popular and effective methods. I will be rolling right along with you, and I will be paraphrasing for easier understanding. Let's see what happens. Method 1. Roll four six-sided dice. Six times. Or, 46 times six. Omit the lowest die. Example, if you have a six, a six, a three, and a three, you would simply take away one of the threes, and you would write 15 down for your first number. Next, grab a sheet of scratch paper and write down from one to six, like I have done here. Then all you have to do is just roll your dice and log your numbers. Let's see what we get. A six, a two, a two, and a one. Well, that's easy. Take away the one and log down a 10. Let's see. A six, five, five, and a four. Take away the four, and it leaves us with 16. A six, five, five, and a four. Take away the four, and we got a 16 again. Next roll. We have a five, five, four, and a three. Take away a 3, that gives us a 14. A 4, 4, 3, and a 2. Take away the 2, this is an 11. Last roll. A 6, a 6, a 4, and a 4. Take away the 4, that gives us a 16. That is some numbers I can really work with. Method two, roll three six-sided dice 12 times, or 3d6 times 12, and record your numbers. So what I do is I number from one to six, and have a column A and a column B. And then roll your dice. Let's see what we get. Six, six, three. It's a fifteen. Six, six, five. Hmm. Seventeen. A four, a three, and a three. Ten. A five, five, and a one. It's an 11. Six, five, one. 12. A six, four, and a four. It's 14. Six, five, four. Another 15. A 
six, a four, and a two. So that's a 12. Six, four, and a two, another 12. Five, five, four, 14. Five, five, and a one. It's an 11. Last roll. A six, a five, and a two. Gives us a 13. What I do is I go through and I circle the six highest numbers. And then I record them over to the side. Those are some really good numbers. I could really work with that. Well, it looks like our time has ran out today. Next time we meet, I'll be going over with you the ability scores, what they represent, and what you need to understand to fill out the character reference sheet. Until then, have a great day. Until next time, remember, bad dice rolls don't mean that the dice hate you. It means that it opens up opportunities for memorable moments of gameplay, such as as you're getting ready to thrust your daggers into the ravenous wolf, <laughs> you realize, hey, who's a good boy who needs some tummy time? Here is your question of the day. Of these two methods, which is your favorite way of rolling a new player character and why? Please comment below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications of when I'll be posting new videos. Don't forget to check out Chris Korchak Booksellers. If you do purchase any books from them and you use the product code THACO, that's capital T-H-A-C-0, you'll receive 20% off at checkout. Until then, happy gaming.